and welcome to episode 144, I believe, of the Graceful Tangle podcast. I'm Amy Kate. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is June 2nd, which is crazy to believe. I cannot believe that it is already June. That is wild. 2023 is almost halfway over, which is just crazy. Um, but anyways, it is June. I hope that you're having a great start to the month. It is a beautiful day here, um, summer day in Alabama where I'm coming to you from and I am again so glad that you are here. I have a, a few things to chat about with you guys today including some finished objects and works in progress um, and then a couple, one book that I finished this week and then um, a little devotional that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump into the episode this week with um, some finished objects. <music> Alrighty, I have two finished objects to share. Um, the first is so cute. So I made this little baby beanie this week for somebody that I know that is having a little girl soon. And I just love how it turned out so much. So I used, um, I have a pattern called the Best Jude Beanie that basically looks exactly like this, just much larger. It's a standard two by two with beanie. I tend to use this, um, exact line of yarn which is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton um for the beanies that I make using that pattern um and this is just one that I modified the size of to make it accommodate a baby's head so I do think I'm gonna write up this pattern and just post it for free like either on Ravelry or the blog or both um just so that it's out there for my sake if I want to make it again I have the numbers written down in a place that's good to locate but then also so I have something to share with you guys because it's just a really basic little baby beanie um it's gonna fit my hope so the baby I think is gonna be do born um later in the summer August is my guess but I don't really know um anyway and so my hope is that it'll fit her in the winter so I made it intentionally a little bit big but then it also can stretch so much so kind of keep that in mind I don't really think it would fit a newborn but I also do not have a newborn baby to try it on so I'm not I'm not entirely sure but anyways it turned out so stinking cute I made it in like just not much time at all um which was so fun so Anyways, I finished that, and then I also finished up my second version of the Patches Blanket. So this is a pattern that I released a couple of weeks ago, um, and the beauty of the pattern is just that you can kind of change it to be just whatever style that you want, kind of take the idea and run with it, and that's definitely my encouragement behind the pattern itself. Um, and so I did that and made this version, which is just three different color columns instead of a whole bunch of different little squares or patches if you will of color um added the same border that I put on my other one which is just two rounds of single crochet and I absolutely love it I love how this turned out so much y'all are gonna think I'm so weird but I just have in my head to create a bunch of things for my future kids and just put them away um, because there's so many things that I want to make and who knows if I'm even going to have time when that season of life gets here. So, um, this is kind of one of those things. Like, this is going to be a baby blanket. It's just it's like the perfect size, the perfect drape. I love how it turned out so much. So I will link that pattern down below if you want to make one for yourself. Um, I love how that pattern turned out and so many of y'all do too, which is so fun. Um, so anyway, I finished that up this week, which felt good because it's definitely, it was definitely a larger project, so it took a little bit of time, and I am so happy to have it off the needles, especially since I am currently still working on two blankets <laughs> at the same time. So it felt good to get that third one out of the way and finished. Um, and that is it for finished objects this week. Um, but I do have a couple. Um, actually, I have one or two. Two works in progress that aren't really designs. One kind of is, but... We're used to me calling it that now, I think. Um, so yeah, let's talk about a couple of whips. Okay, the first work in project, project, I always say that. The first work in progress that I have to share with you this week is this blanket. Guys, it is so close to being done. This is gonna be the last time that you see this blanket actually because I'll be sending it off for good. Um, uh, next week. Oh, I just lost like a whole bunch of stitches. Okay, one second while I fix these. Um, this has taken so long. 
way too long. It has taken way too long, but it is a huge project. So many hours of work have gone into this, and I'm so excited that it is finally almost done. I am going to add one more ball, ball's worth of yarn into it, um, and then it will be finished. So I, yeah, I'm just so excited that it is finally done because I've been ready to have this project off my plate for quite a while now. So here is the blanket. Um, it's way too big to hold entirely on the screen. And as you can see, I do have a couple of ends that I still need to weave in. But this is the navy blanket that I have been working on forever in a day. Literally like seven months I've been working on this project. Um, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's almost done. I didn't have a deadline. It's fine that it's taken a while, but I am so happy that it is finally almost complete. I am going to be launching this pattern and getting pictures of it once it's done. Um, it's just going to be a free pattern because it is so easy. It's literally a seed stitch for basically the rest of your life. <laughs> um, but, you know, it does. I do really like the way that it looks. And so if you do too, you can make one for yourself. But just know that this has definitely been a labor of love. So you gotta really, you got to really love it. I don't think I will ever be making one no matter how much I love the way that it looks again um anyway part of that is the yarn that i'm using because i'm using a super bulky yarn in size 11 needles so the gauge is pretty tight um but i'm using lime brown woolies thick and quick in the colorway you'd think i know by now petrol blue i think is how you say that um it's just like a standard classic navy color um, but yeah, it's almost done. So yeah, this will be the last time that you see this. I will, like I said, be getting pictures and releasing the pattern, um, for free. So stay tuned for that. It'll be a fun way to see it all finished for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm so close to being done and I'm so, so excited. So that is my goal for the next few days is to finish this thing up because I'm so close and it literally, it has to be done. My family is delivering it for me on a trip, um, next Friday. And today is Friday as well. So like a week from today, it has to be completely done. But really before that, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, anyway, so somehow I'll find the time to put a ball's worth of yarn into this blanket so that I can finish it up. And I'm so excited to have it done. Alrighty, and then the next work in progress that I am working, working on, I thought I said project again. I can't talk today. Um, Anyway, the next project that I'm working on is a pair of socks. These are for my brother's birthday, which is in July. I have not made a lot of progress on these this week. I'm not even sure where I was last time I showed you, but I have one sock completely done. Um, I am just using my Success Socks pattern, which is my standard cuff down vanilla sock recipe. You can find it linked down below or in any of my pattern shops. And then here's where I'm at on the second one. I have the cuff done and part of the leg. So. Yes, I'll be picking these back up um, really as soon as I finish that blanket and getting them done. This is kind of next on the list. But anyways, I love how they're turning out. I think he's going to really, really like them. They definitely remind me of him with just the yellows, the browns, and the blues, and the greens. Um, super excited to give these to him in July. So yes, that is that. Um, and once again, those are my only two whips that I have to share this week um i'm kind of flying through the episode i feel like i need to chill out a little bit um i have a lot on my plate today and this weekend so trying not to rush um anyways let's go ahead and talk about a few designs because i'm working on some really fun projects <music> Okay, first up, um, I did launch a brand new pattern last week, the Petal Dishcloth. This is just such a cute and fun dishcloth pattern. Um, so if you haven't already checked it out, definitely do so. Dishcloths are perfect for this time of year. They take little to no time to make, very little yarn, and it's cotton, so you're not going to get, you know, super hot or anything making them, um, which is kind of necessary to keep in mind this time of year, unless the AC is full blast in your house. But, um... Anyways, I love this little dish cloth so much. So I hope that you are enjoying that pattern. And then very soon I'm going to have two new sock patterns released, which I am so excited about. 
The first is the Worsted Satisfaction Socks. So these are cuff down crocheted socks. They're the worsted weight version of this pattern, which I am so excited to finally release. Um, I have a step-by-step -step video tutorial to go along with these, so I will quit that and edit it over the last couple of weeks. So much work has gone into this pattern. Um, so much. But I am super, super excited to finally release it to you guys very, very soon. I made two pairs. Obviously, I just have one of each on these blockers, but this one is using Wicrochet Brava Tweed, and then this one is um, Felici Worsted. So I love how different they look, just based on the yarns that I chose. Um, these are the ones that I made in the tutorial, so you can kind of see me making them if you'd like. But yeah, um, so that pattern is going to be coming out really soon, and I hope that you enjoy it. They're so quick. Um, they take about 100 grams to 150 grams of yarn, just depending on the size and the leg length that you've chosen to do. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the pattern. Again, never hesitate to reach out with any questions, because I know sometimes learning new techniques can be tricky, but I hope that that pattern just encourages you to give crochet socks a try because they really are so simple if you're familiar with crochet crochet patterns this little crochet stitch you are going to nail those socks so i cannot wait to see all of your future socks um and then soon after that i will have a knitted sock pattern coming out these are going to be called the garden socks i love these so much these use yarn from one of my very best friends eden from canada she has um the crafting clicken company crafting crank and handmade i think that's right um anyways she makes the most beautiful yarn and progress keepers and bags kind of just a little bit of everything she is amazing um but yes so this uses one of her sock sets and i absolutely love the combination of colors she just has such an eye of colors i for color i love it so much um so yeah it's like kind of a watercolor-esque uh, main skein 100 gram skein and then this really beautiful dark dark green contrast mini um and then i designed this pair of socks so i love them so much i hope that y'all are excited for the pattern because i'm so excited to release it um yeah i love it i love it so much love how those turned out they're so beautiful i also got pictures of them this past week um for the pattern and they turned out so good i yeah i'm really excited to share um those with you guys Alrighty, and then one more design that I'm currently working on. This is for a challenge with Hobie, their Elements Challenge. So um, this is inspired by the sea. This blanket is inspired by the sea. I love it so much. You can just kind of see the drape. Oh, it's beautiful. I am obsessed with this project. I've obviously put a lot of work into it. Last time I shared it, um, I, I don't remember if I shared it on the last podcast episode or not. If I did, I had like a row done and that's it. Um, so here's what it currently looks like. I am holding two strands of yarn together. I'm using their Friends Wheel, which is a 100% sport weight cotton. Actually, is it 100% cotton? No, 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. Um, so it just feels so good. The acrylic kind of makes it softer, but the cotton just adds that sense of durability to it. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. So I'm using those two colors together and then replacing this light aqua with a navy um, for the other contrast color. Um, and then I'm using this really pretty kind of wavy stitch. I love it. I love, love, love it. So that has been so much fun to work on. Um, it's also perfect right now just because it's so lightweight and drapey that it's not, you know, hot at all. Um, even though it's a blanket, it's not cumbersome to work on, unlike the navy one that I'm currently working on. That one, you get hot if you're sitting under it, for sure. Um, but yeah, so that has been so much fun to work on. And that is it for all of my projects. Um, I don't know, I feel like life is just really busy and crazy, and I've just been in like a social media slump. Just engagement has felt low. It has been frustrating, but maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Um, so because of that, I feel like my projects are kind of feeling that, like there's a little bit of a slump is there, I think. Um, and just life has been crazy and overwhelming at times lately. But anyways, needless to say, I'm still working on some fun projects and I cannot wait to release a few fun designs this summer. So thank you so, so much for being here and for, and for your support. Um, I appreciate it so, so much. So on that note, I do have a little devotional to share with you guys and a couple of books that I have been enjoying so much. So let's go ahead and chat about that for a few minutes. 
So I have talked about this Bible a few times, but I am currently going through the One Year Chronological Study Bible. Um, so this is a Bible that is written in chronological order and divided into days with dates. So like May 31st, June 1st, June 2nd, etc. You get a small portion each day and then by the time you get to the end of the year, you, have, you will have read the entire Bible in chronological order. So it's written differently than most Bibles. I absolutely love this. I am just so grateful for it. It has been the best way to start my day all year long. It's my second time reading the Bible um, chronologically. I did it last year, but I used a regular Bible, like my regular um, NIV Bible. And so I just kind of flipped back and forth and followed a schedule, which was amazing too. But I feel like um, you kind of accidentally miss some when you're flipping back and forth so much. It can just be a little bit distracting. Um, so I have really enjoyed this Bible for intentionally reading it chronologically, but also exactly how it's written. Um, so anyways, all of that to say, I'm currently in Proverbs right now, which has just been amazing. I love Proverbs so much. Um, it's one of my favorite books of the Bible for sure. There's just so much wisdom and insight and just kind of instructions, but not in the legalistic frame of mind um of just how to navigate life as a christian and how to do it in ways that honor the lord and what honors the lord and what doesn't it's just it's it's so beautiful and i'm so excited to kind of be in this um part of the bible um however this past week has been just particularly encouraging because of that and every single day there's this little um kind of note that is written by um, other Bible scholars, not, not, um, the actual author of the book of the Bible itself. Um, and one of them is always like related to what the subject, um, of the passage that you're about to read is about. This one was about, um, the book of Proverbs as a whole and righteousness. And so I'm just going to read the, from May 31st little section here, because I thought it was just so beautifully worded um and exactly how i want to live my life and i wanted to encourage you guys with it so it says righteousness impacts our response to god how we ac accumulate and spend our resources how we steward our words our relationships our time and our lives it determines how we respond to rebuke and correction by god through his word and through others righteousness instills discipline in our hearts and thoughts it listens to counsel and makes wise decisions, fears the Lord, and treats others with humility. I just love that passage so much, and I really hope and pray that my life can be an example of that passage being lived out. Um, some of those things, all of those things are so important to me, but some of those things I struggle more with others. Like just for example, um, it might be harder for you to use wholesome words when you're speaking and it might be um, less of a challenge for you to not be lazy or some people might struggle a little bit more with laziness but they speak wholesomely to all people um, you know excitedly so we just all struggle with different things and that is part of life life can be hard we're all going to have our struggles that's not an excuse um, it's just proof that we're human and sinful and broken and we live in a fallen world um but there's the hope of Jesus to um just triumph over all of our struggles and all of our pain and by his power in us we can defeat those things too and so if you struggle with laziness he can make that new by you devoting your life to him and if you struggle with speaking speaking wholesome words um then he can breathe life into you and kind of convict you in that way in a sense to be more like christ not in a um disciplinary or condescending way but just in a loving way because that's who our god is so i was just so encouraged by that i want i want my life to be an example of of righteousness you know we look at jesus for perfect righteousness and we will never we will never be at that point we can never be perfect um but we should strive to abide in him and as we abide in him we can become more and more like him. And so that is my hope um, for my life. And I just hope that was an encouragement for you. Like I said, I, yeah, I'm just so encouraged and humbled by the book of Proverbs. Um, one of my favorite verses comes from, I'm going to try to see if I can find which Proverbs 16. It is, I will say, in this Bible, it is a little tricky if you want to actually find what passage of scripture you're reading it can be a little bit tricky because it is divided into verses but you just got to pay attention because it kind of goes all over the place because it's written 
chronologically instead of in the standard format that we're used to. But anyway, Proverbs 16, 3 says, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. And then going into verse 4, The Lord has made everything for his own purposes, even the wicked for a day of disaster. Obviously, it kind of ends on a rough note. <laughs> but just committing your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. I have struggled forever with you know wanting to make plans wanting to know what to expect and wanting to uphold those plans and while there can be so many good things in that trait there can also be so many bad things um i think one of the hardest that i have learned over the years is sometimes my will is not god's will and so i have to be humble enough to see that what i want your will to be done not just mine and that verse just kind of encapsulates that so beautifully um and just saying commit your actions to the lord whatever you're doing do it for the lord um and then your plans will succeed because as we are working for the lord as we are trying to fulfill his will um we will and his will will be revealed not to be insanely confusing um but anyways i highly recommend this bible i've gotten a lot of questions over it, about it um over the last few months so i will link it down in the description box if you want to check it out um it's never too late to start reading the bible in the year this specific one is divided into you know january 1st 2nd etc but don't don't let that be a reason to not do it um i actually started a devotional um that i got um at second charles on my birthday and it i kind of didn't realize it but it's supposed to be done like within a year and it's also divided into um days and months but so i'm like in february right now and it's june but that's totally okay it doesn't matter at all um i will say the the last few days have been about love which is kind of funny because it would be more applicable if it was february going by the world's standards but anyways just don't let that limit you from starting doing the bible chronologically because it's just as important in june as it would be in january for sure um anyways a book that i read this um, week if you are just looking for something good to read my favorite one of my favorite genres is christian fiction so if you have any good recommendations i would love to hear it because fiction can be hard to trust i really really enjoy a good story but i just want it to be clean and wholesome and it can be it can be very difficult to find a book that kind of meets those criteria um but karen kingsbury i have talked about her a million and one times she's one of my absolute favorite authors i love all of her books and this is her angels walking series so um it's very interesting. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but it's really good and kind of shines light on angels in our midst. Um, and the, I read the second book in the series this week, um, in just a couple days, actually. Um, and it was just like a really good kind of palette cleanser from some bigger books that I have read lately. Um, and it was really good. So if you are looking for a good book to read, I highly recommend this series. I'm actually, I got the third one um, from the library today on my way home from work. So I'm very excited to read that when i have time <laughs> hopefully this weekend but um it's also gonna be a very busy weekend so we will see i'm also reading um i'm using the kindle but i am reading the a book by francine rivers i have not read a book from her before um but it's called the masterpiece and it is so good so far so i highly recommend that one as well i'm on chapter like 10 i think so i'm not i'm no way to finishing it quite yet but um it's also really good. I read so many good things about her book, um, Redeeming Love. So I, I think I want to read that one soon. I don't know a whole lot about it yet. Um, but the masterpiece is a really beautiful story so far. So I highly recommend that too. If you are looking for something good to read during these summer months, I love, love, love sitting outside or going for a walk and reading. It is so peaceful. Just the best way to kind of clear your mind and just chill a little bit um but yeah in terms of a life update i worked my first shifts at a new job last weekend which was wild it was unlike anything i have ever experienced i am working at a coffee shop that opened near me and it was just so busy we had like a soft opening but that meant that all drinks were free it was insane i lost count of how many orders i took i worked on saturday and because of the position that I was put in, I was talking to customers all day. So I like lost my voice. I was basically squeaking at customers <laughs> by the end of the day. So that was interesting. Um, and then the next day I was in the kitchen actually making drinks. So it was a wild weekend, let me tell you. But I'm so grateful um, for the opportunity to have this job. I've been trying to pick up a second one for a while now. And so I'm so grateful to have one, even if it's 
you know, unusual and I don't feel that it's kind of like, I don't know. I don't think it's headed for a career necessarily. I think it's just a job. So that has just been a very big learning experience for me personally to understand the importance of it, even if it's not something that I really just, that God has just, you know, specifically called me to. Um, it's been, it's been interesting to walk through those emotions for sure, but still I'm grateful for it. And he has already proven himself faithful and good in the midst of it. And I am so grateful for that. So anyways, I hope that you're having a great week. Thank you so much for watching the podcast. Um, once again, I'm so happy that you are here. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and then hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope that you are having such a great start to your summer. I hope it's filled with making and relaxing and fun times and hard work if that's something that needs to happen for you. It's definitely going to be a full summer of hard work for me personally, but that is okay. Um, anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all again next time. Bye.